The skeletal muscle of animals, including humans, are striated. They exist in bundles of thousands of muscle fibers. A single muscle fiber is actually a muscle cell. As you can see, muscle cells are very elongated and contain several nuclei. Packed inside the muscle cells are contractile myofibrils. Myofibrils show the striated pattern as repeating subunits called sarcomeres. When a motor neuron stimulates a muscle fiber, overlapping filaments in the sarcomere slide along one another, and the sarcomere shorten. The repeated pattern of the sarcomere results from the arrangement of the two major proteins within the myofibrils. Myosin and actin. The myosin heads are the actual mechanism for muscle contraction. Now let's examine the process in detail. First of all, when a motor neuron stimulates a muscle fiber, the calcium ions are released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The ions force the tropomyosin to displace and expose myosin binding sites on the actin. An ATP molecule is then hydrolyzed and the myosin head forms a cross bridge. When the ADP is replaced by a new molecule of ATP, the myosin head detaches from actin and goes back to its original state. And that's pretty much the whole process. And one more thing. Each myosin head attaches to and releases from actin independently, not in unison. Otherwise, the myosin heads would all release at once, and the whole muscle would go to a relaxed state. And that wouldn't be good.